Jupiter Media presents Hello and Namaste. Welcome to Destination India Television Show. We are featuring different prominent university colleges and institutions to showcase the study opportunities in India. So what type of the international students are there in India and how they are utilizing the quality of education infrastructure and the industrial development. To show you all these about things, we have visited Pune and featured a couple of universities and colleges. Today I'm going to talk about Allard University. Allard University is going to form by Allard group of institutions. To give you all detail and insights about it, we have very special guest, Dr. Yalar Yadav trustee of these institutions. Let's welcome him to the show. First of all, would you please tell us something about yourself? See, my name is Dr. Elar Yato. Basically, I, I am born in Uttar Pradesh. It is uh, one district called Devaria, which is very near to Gorakhpur. So I originate from a small village. My parents migrated from there to Pune for doing business. They came in Pune in 1956. They started a small business and subsequently it grown and we become the turnkey sugar mill machinery manufacturer. So since 1956 to journey 2006, it was a marvelous work we did in the national way and international way we did the exports to African countries and many things, northeast and all about the sugar mills and sugar machinery. I did my uh, schooling from UP and then I came in 1976 to Pune to do my higher education. I am a BSc graduate, then I am B mechanical, ME mechanical, I am PGDBM, MBA and PhD in management. This is my qualification. I have an experience of doing the industry because after my father, my parents, I became the chairman and managing director of company called Allard Industries Limited. We have a manufacturing unit in Satara in 12 acres land. We have an engineering company and manufacturing facilities. So I handled that organization in 1984 to 2006 and I did a business of 150 crore per every year. So this is what around 25 to 30 years my experience was in the industry. While doing all this thing, I felt that, uh, you know, everything mechanical, steel, loha and all hard work. So there was no time limit, we have to work for 24 by 7 because I used to look about the marketing, manufacturing, drawing, design, supply, installation of machinery, finance. So this way I was handling my projects. Then I thought that why should not do something for youth and go for education. So in 2004, 2002 in fact. I thought that I should start a small school, CBSC school and I will be, the rest of my life when I become older, I have, I want to spend in, in between the students. But you know, Disney took me and uh, I started Allard Institute of Management Sciences in 2004, a first MBA college in, in this campus and uh, it was approved by AICT, the intake was 60, admission were done, placement were done, so I got so much boost. So straight from industry to education. So this was my migration period. This Allard group of institute uh, run by Allard Charitable Trust. It is an educational trust which was founded in 1999 by me. Thinking that I want to go in education, but due to my business, uh, I could not start in 1999. I started in 2004. This is about 15 acre campus in Hinjwadi IT Park, which is one of the very prominent IT park in Asia. We are uh, recruiting, uh, this IT companies are recruiting almost 10 to 15 lakh engineers every year in this. So I am situated to such a nice place, very uh, great place and having owning a campus. Slowly this educational campus was developed in, uh, we started with the management, then we came with the engineering, then with the pharmacy degree college, CBSE school, a state board school. So like that we are having a six institution and we are uh, running very successfully for last almost about 90 to 20 years. Now our board of management has decided to convert this campus into a university and we are in a process, uh, things are going on with the government and UGC and most probably we are going to be the university, approved university by the 
uh, state government and UGC and 2024-25 admission we feel that we will start with Allard University. So let's have a talk about the teaching pedagogy you have applied here. See, the, uh, starting the education, my more focus was because when I did my engineering in, in, in 83, 82, I passed 83, I went to do the uh, job. In fact, uh, one or two years I did a job in a small company. My salary was 3,200 and we were uh, not knowing anything. See, I was a mechanical engineer, but I was not a skill. So considering those factors in my mind, my idea was to come into education and make the education differently because I understand that unless you just having a degree, what I say, I always talk to my uh, students when I address them. So I always say that the degree which you get from the university is a receipt of the fee which you have paid to the university. So it is just a degree and unless you have a skill in a particular field, you will not be employable, you will not get the growth in your career. So starting the education, my basic thought was that I will run the courses along with a skill. So I have always focused while recruiting the good faculty members, assistant professor, professor, associate professor or director. My main focus is that he should be also from industry. So when I select the professor, I see that he has got 10 years experience in an industry, then he has come to education, he is a teacher. And I feel that he has got both 50-50, industrial knowledge and teaching knowledge. And subsequently, when we are converting this institution into the university, the main idea of conversion is to have an autonomy where we can design the course as uh, needed for the industry. So from the day one, when we are designing our curriculum, I have taken the top most advisor for, from the engineering organization, computer organization, banking, so many other uh, industries and we are designing the course which should be industry interface. Yeah. There should be a, you know like uh, foreign countries they are giving more uh, percentage or more time towards the uh, industry level, skilling level and uh, less about 30-40% in the classroom. Whereas in India we are just reverse, we are giving 80% in a classroom. So I want to change the whole system. And now government of India has also amended the NEP 2020 which also give us so much liberty to convert our total curriculum into industrial base. So this is the more focus and idea was. Allard Charitable Trust has developed its infrastructure, facility and faculties in the quality of global standard. Let's have a talk about it. See, the campus is a 15 acre and all the institutions are approved by AICT. So we have followed the technical requirement as per the governing council bodies. So all our institutions are approved by AICT, affiliated to Pune University and uh, recommended by, you know, Director of Technical Education Government of Maharashtra. So as far as infrastructure is concerned, we are having a technical infrastructure approved by the government, approved by the university. Now we are making a massive changes and you know by way of bringing the top quality of computer, IT system, other uh, you know uh, so many infrastructure, we are, we are coming out with a very big uh, uh, conference hall, seminars and uh, in, you know in the sports way we have developed a two acre football academy of international level. Such a facility is not available in Pune. People say that it is not available in Maharashtra in a private sector. So I feel very proud that I have developed this and then we are developing a, a, a large football club. We are going to train the national skilled footballers and we want to see that our students should go into national, uh, you know, they should be recruited in national team. So this kind of facilities we are creating, we are focusing education, we are focusing on sports, we are developing force aside. Uh, Badminton, uh, Badminton Academy, it is in the process, it is going on and we are all going to make on an international level. So the university will have a full place, all sort of required infrastructure on international level. Allard Charitable Trust is going to form as a big university. So to invite more international students, what sort of the strategical plan do you have? So when a student comes to us, we do the very uh, proper counseling with them. We understand their language, their food habits, their culture. And accordingly, we develop, we change, we modify our system like uh, 
food in the cafeteria, then uh, hostels, we are uh, just trying to make, uh, you know, as per their local needs, what they, they are, they are habituated. So we should try to keep, made it possible as per their requirement. We are also having, you know, uh, uh, evening, every Saturday, Sunday, we are having a cultural program where we focus uh, local uh, requirement, whatever they want. Suppose a student is from Tamil Nadu, then we, we feel, uh, we make a small festival for Tamil Nadu type. So like that, we are trying to make the culture, you know, different culture of India into one culture and make it, uh, you know, suitable for every independent student who is coming from particular region. Okay. How do you like to invite more Nepalese students to pursue their higher education in your institutions and university? So you see, uh, as I am being a North Indian, I am very close. I am also from a border side of Nepal. So I understand Nepal very well. I understand their uh, socialism, so their requirements. And um, uh, I feel that uh, being a North Indian, I understand their culture. and. Uh, here in Pune, we will try to give them the maximum security, the maximum inputs, maximum skill, and we will make them industrial friendly skill so that they are recruited. And uh, as a chairman, I focus more towards the uh, making entrepreneurship. I want that every child should become businessman. If he cannot business, become businessman, then only he should think for the job. because. You know, uh, now our whole world is uh, heavily populated and everybody wants a government job, so it's not possible by the governments to give it. So I always uh, praise my students who are in campus that you should first become entrepreneur. And I give myself an example because I came from a small village of UP when uh, I did my education in Hindi media. And even I can do such a uh, good thing in education at Pune in Maharashtra in different state why others cannot do. So this is my message to the youth that you should take a good education, good skill, try to become entrepreneur, give job to others. Don't, don't seek job, give job to others. This is my message. We are all the way from Nepal to showcase the best university colleges here in Pune. So finally, what's your message to the prospective student and their parents? The Pune is a town which has a better climate better climate is when you compare India. The Pune is having a full security, even for a girl child, for a boy child, Pune city is very, very safe. Here, uh, the, the whole population of Pune is Cosmo. So it is not a one particular uh, domination. For, uh, the people from uh, whole India, people from world are here. And it is a, called a educational hub city. So I advise uh, Nepali students to come to India because they are fully secured, they are having the best education, lot of industries are there, so they will be trained and placed and it is affordable. It is a cultural city. So they will feel uh, home from, away from the home. Dr. Yadav, thank you so much for your valuable time and thoughts. Jupiter Media presents 